in 2022, we have uh, more than 4.5 million infants missed their first dose of MCV. This is a huge number of uh, children. And this cohort uh, uh, is at high risk of uh, measles outbreaks. So I think uh, any effort that aim to improve the coverage and reduce this opportunity of outbreaks should be taken seriously by countries and by partners. You open a vial for one child, when he will get, if, if additional one or two children are not get, you are, you are supposed to dispose it, you cannot keep. You put the safety of the child first, not the safety of the vaccine wastage. Uh, once the health worker opens a vial and reconstitute it, that vaccine has to be discarded either at the end of the session or within six hours of reconstitution. So what it means is health workers usually are worried to open a vial. They need to have at least 10 kids around or let's say eight, nine kids. So they are always hesitant to open a vial. So if it is five doses, it means that for the five doses, opening a five dose vial versus opening a 10 dose vial is different thing, right? Because opening a five dose vial for five kids versus opening 10 dose vial for five kids is a different thing. That hugely reduces the, the wastage. We had a high wastage rate, yes, with the 10 dose, because if a person comes to them for immunization and then you tell them, oh, we are not giving it today, we'll give it on Friday, that person won't come again. So they were missed opportunities. That's why we had to switch to the MR5 dose. At the end of the day, uh, reaching measles eliminations means attaining the highest possible coverage with the first dose and the second dose of measles vaccine. And the, the, the targets that we have, programmatic targets, are 95% coverage. It's not easy to attain that, but a series of programmatic steps taken, including the shift from 10 dose to 5 dose, will bring us closer to that, to that particular goal within a routine immunization setting. Of course, when countries go for mass vaccination, either preventive vaccination or outbreak response vaccination, because large volumes of people are expected at a service delivery site at one point, we do not recommend a five dose vial to be used in that instance. So countries will continue to use 10 dose vials for mass vaccination, but for routine services would like to uh, shift towards a, a five dose vial presentation. I really cannot uh, think of uh, challenges. Yeah, it was smooth, really. No, there wasn't any challenge, but the, our health workers welcomed it with both hands. They were happy that we are now, we have switched to the five dose by because the wastage will be low. From our side, we, don't, we didn't have any challenge, yes. Yeah, we didn't face any challenge. Actually, we have an advantage of that. Uh, le, le, le plus grand challenge, c'est que uh, le, le capacité de stockage, elle est déchée. Parce que le capacité de stockage était suffisant, c'était pas débordé, mais au moins le frigo était, il y avait d'espace, mais après qu'on a eu les cinq doses, le frigo était plein. Et aussi la gestion des déchets. On avait des déchets qui avaient un peu accumulé, on avait un peu de soucis des incinérateurs qui ne fonctionnent pas, mais on a managé jusqu'à... À, avoir un peu de l'amélioration de la gestion de la de déchets. It um, increases the vaccine uh, volume. Yeah, definitely it increases the vaccine volume. But as you know, uh, measles is just one of the antigens among many. So doubling that specific antigen doesn't necessarily lead to doubling the, all the uh, cold chain capacity at the same time. They give also orientation for the health workers. They have to update their reporting, registration uh, also. That's uh, what I can recommend. As well as it's very valuable use. So the price uh, per dose for uh, five dose 
vials is more expensive than the uh, price per dose for 10 uh, dose vials. However, UNICEF and WHO estimate that if we manage to reduce the wastage by 25%, the price, there will not be any difference between the prices. And the um, result revealed from the Zambia study that they managed to reduce uh, the wastage by almost 47%. There is a marginal increase in the cost as countries move from 10 dose vials to 5 dose vials. Uh, that eventually, in the longer term, will be offset by the decline in the wastage rates that they get and by the gains in, 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 in coverage. UNICEF support is always available. We are always there to support countries. Uh, to do any kind of gap analysis in the area of cold chain, in the area of even professionalization of immunization supply chain colleagues, training, and uh, vaccine management. So these are some of the areas that UNICEF could provide support. Uh, it, it was easy, it was easy because we had support from WHO and UNICEF, yes, for the training. We just did have the trainings for all the nurses in all the regions. So it, 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 it wasn't that much difficult. Uh, we had support from our local partners like UNICEF, WHO, CHAI, those were the partners that supported us. Uh, really, um, I think with social mobilization and the implementation of the use of five dose vial. So Gavi, uh, we understand, is available to provide some support for that switch, they call it a switch grant. And from the point of view of WHO and UNICEF, the technical agencies, we can help the countries with regards to making the right uh, calculations with regards to how many vials they may need when they shift, what would be the gains in coverage they can anticipate, what would be the, 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 the anticipated change in wastage rate when they shift from 10 dose to 5 dose, what would be the cold chain space requirements in a fridge once they double the number of vials that they expect to, 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 to bring on board. And finally, of course, the, the cost implications for their programs. So we can help, help them plan that out and make the right predictions with regards to what kind of preparations they need in terms of cold chain, in terms of financing and so on. The advantage that we got is we have minimized the wastage at the same time. We are also minimizing the expenses that we are going to contribute from the government side, at the same time also from the, uh, our partners also. On a discuté avec les partenaires, on a vu l'impact. L'impact vraiment à la couverture est augmenté parce qu'au moment de la pandémie, on avait 66% de couverture. Maintenant, en 2022, on a obtenu une couverture de 71%. Uh, le taux de perte aussi était de 40%, on est aux environs de 25%, je pense. Uh, we saw an increase in the measles coverage. That is uh, yeah, what we saw. We so, you were know, talking like saving a lot of uh, vaccines, saving a lot of money, and also vaccinating a lot of children. Moi, je trouve que c'est facile parce que maintenant tous les personnels de santé ils disent que on arrive à ouvrir chaque jour le site de vaccination, le flacon de rouge. Parce qu'avant c'était interdit. Même si on a cinq enfants, on dit non, non, il faut aller le jeudi. Si c'était le jeudi, on dit reviens le lundi. Maintenant là, que les mamans viennent chaque chaque moment, chaque jour dans les stratégies fixes, ils ouvrent le flacon. Je pense que pour nous c'est facile et notre couverture sera améliorée. Shifting to a five dose vial, as I said, will give us the opportunity to minimize missed opportunities, uh, to use the vaccine in uh, outreach situations where smaller number of clients can be can be can, uh, are 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 are, uh, are available, and uh, in that way the opportunities that used to be missed for reaching difficult to access uh, geographic areas, that will be ameliorated to, to a greater extent and eventually, of course, uh, bring the coverage higher.